Hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Budgeting. My name is Brandy and I am a 100% cash budgeter. I do not do a zero-based budget to a true zero-based. I do leave a sludge fund or a surplus lines in my checking account so that I'm not at dead broke or I don't only have $30 or whatever in my account. I kind of let that slush fund build. It works as a, a buffer and, and kind of helps me out. For a little bit of background about my channel, I do cash budgeting, budgeting, um, expense payoffs, small business, cash stuffings, things like that. My husband and I are married. However, we do not budget together. So everything you see here is my finances alone. I do mention it whenever we're doing things together. And then the last thing I want to mention is I did just get out of the hospital yesterday. I do have lupus and I was in a pretty severe lupus crisis. And so my energy level is pretty low. I feel like crud and I'm actually going to bed after I film this. I probably will edit it and post it another time. I just wanted to get it filmed. So this is my cash stuffing for my first paycheck of October. So if that's something you think you'd like to see, stay tuned and we will get started. So everything you see in my videos are available on my website. I do try to have everything be. The only exception to that is my cash envelopes and my miniature envelopes. Those are from a um, company called happily ever planned. I don't know if she's taking a break or if she shut her shop down. I couldn't find it the other day, but I did love her product, so I do have that there. So, today I'm actually going to use my stand-up tray. I actually sell both styles in my store. I have a flat tray and I have a stand-up tray. I prefer the flat tray, but I thought I'd try it today. I see a lot of people using these more now, so I thought I would try it and see how it worked. So, I have... If I remember correctly, and if I'm correct, I have 1151. You know what? Let's just count it and make sure. I feel like I'm gonna mess that up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, nine, ten in singles. And I have some two dollar bills. I'm just gonna put them in front of the tray so that I have them where I can reach them. So it's six. Oops, that was ten. Already breaking stuff. Two, four. Six and two dollar bills. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40. So that's 440 and 20s. And then we have 51, 52, 53, 54, and 50s. Oh, it's 1101. Okay. I have a feeling my counts might be off. I had to do some finagling at the bank at the last minute and change some denominations. So if I have to switch things or deposit something later, I will take care of that. I'm also putting it behind my hundreds. These are the $500 steps. These are available in my shop. They are not ancestor money. They are play money for movies. I did have these printed specially. I actually have new ones coming soon too. These are available in my store at retail and wholesale. I also do the $1,000 slips. So I have a one. I know one. at least one needs a $500 this time. So I'm going to switch that out. So we always start with emptying our cash envelopes. My mini envelopes are my challenges. So in the dollar challenge, I actually have one, two, and one dollar is coming out of here. I had to pull a dollar and give it to a kid, so I pulled a dollar out to replace it since it truly wasn't a challenge. So these are, I have three dollars for this week for these. So that is my single challenge. And I don't know if anybody noticed, but I forgot to do these last week. They were actually completely empty. I didn't have anything, so it didn't click to grab them. But I did forget to put them on camera and show that I didn't have anything. For my five dollar challenge, I actually have 15. So we got three fives in there. And then my spare was like for the win this week. I had spent the 10 in my spare, so it was empty all last week. I actually won 30 in my lotto. I always do the spin to win for Michigan. It's free. I got a free um, online thing, and then I won an online game. So I won 30. So I'm actually putting this 10 right back in my spare. I like keeping a 10 in my purse just for whatever. And that stays there. And then this 20, I'm going to put aside, and we'll do that when we get to that later. So... Groceries, we have 55, 60, and that goes into that other pile. Dining, we have a 20, so that goes into that other pile. Miscellaneous has 10, 
and that goes in the other pile. Fuel has nothing. Subscriptions doesn't roll. Spending has, this is mainly because I was in the hospital, so I didn't have a chance to spend any of this. Spending had 20 and household had 20. And then this actually, this is probably where I'm off. I'm putting this 20 that was in the back of my bank envelope, I'm actually putting in here. So I've been carrying my change in here because it's very convenient for me, but my purse gets kind of heavy. So I'm actually changing, I sell these on my website. I'm actually changing over to this. I'm gonna hook it on the inside of my purse and do it that way. That way I can just dump this when I see fit. I have not been doing my coin counting on camera. I don't find that when I watch, it's not anything I really worry about. So I just assume everybody doesn't care about seeing that. If you ever wanna see how much change I have, I can show you. I actually roll it as I go as well. So if I grab my little cheat sheet for food, I'm gonna have 125. I'm gonna do two fifties, a 20 and a five. So I have 51, 25. Because of the steroid dosage I was at, I had to step down and I'm still on a pretty high dose. So it can make my voice quiver. It can make me have like um, sensations, almost like anxiety. So it's kind of difficult to get through, but it's what's needed to survive. Dining is going to get 10, not 20. Or I did less this week because I had some stuff going on. Miscellaneous is going to get 10. These are ones that roll every single week. Fuel is gonna get 40, so I'm just gonna do 220s. I usually do 50, but this is the first week I actually used my money, and because I was in the hospital, I have a half a tank of gas left. So I just feel like I probably won't need it, so I just did 40. Subscriptions is gonna get 20. I'm actually gonna switch these out for a 10, and actually I'm just gonna switch those out and make it a 50. So that worked out perfectly. So it's actually gonna end up with a 50. So I had 80, I added to 20, and now has 100. Spending is 10. And household is 20. And that's the end of my cash envelopes. We're gonna get started on my family binder. Okay, so first thing we have is kids. Gonna put my phone here to kind of put some weight on this. Kids is getting a five. I'm actually gonna switch this out for a 10 and then grab one five, so it ends up with 15. Grandsons has a 10, it's getting a five, so we'll have 15. School has, I think, just a 10. Yep, and it's getting a 10. So it will have 20. So actually now it has a 20. I was going to grab a 20. I've been trying to flip these out. These, This for me is easier than doing a cash swap because I do it as I go and then I don't have to go back and follow through and do it later and I don't have to worry about fat envelopes. Not to say I'll never do one, but it's just something I don't need right now. So this is getting 25. I'm actually just going to grab a 50 and put this back so I'll end up with a 50 in here. The vertical cash is a little easier to grab, although it doesn't show you really what's going on with the cash. So I don't know if it's, if it's you can let me know maybe below if it works good for you, but it is easier to grab with it vertical. This is getting 75, so I'm gonna do 50. This is beauty, 70, and I'm actually gonna put this five back and grab a 10. So we end up at 130. Pets is getting 20. I actually have 20 and fives. I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna grab two 20s. So we will have 40 in pets. Medical is getting 40. I'm trying to ju juice this one up a little bit. So it now will have 140 in it. And that is it for this binder. So that is it for this binder. And that's what this looks like. You can get something similar on my website if you are interested. So now if we go to home. I actually have some happy mail coming from a fellow YouTuber. I'm pretty excited. And she's making me some dashboards. 
and I am looking forward to it. Okay, so in house cash, we currently have 51, 05, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now house cash comes from this stuff extra over here. Not my ones and fives, but everything else. So we saved, let's see what we got here. In house cash, just from this week, we're adding 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, okay? So I always take 25 out to put in my month ahead fund. So let's put this all back together and see what we got home. So in house cash, we now have 50, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 231, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 235. I think it's $65 will be coming out of this for my Amazon subscriptions, getting um, stuff for the house I've been doing since I haven't been feeling well. I don't know if I'll do that for long term, but right now I'm doing that. So I now am a month ahead. A month ahead is actually getting another 25 out of my thing. So I'm actually going to put this back and I'm going to grab a 50. So that equaled 50. So a month ahead now has 200. That's, that's, that's worked up for It's building a lot faster now. That makes me really happy. Clothing is getting 15. So let's see what I got here. I got a 20. I'm actually going to grab the 15 and then work it out in my head because sometimes it's easier for me that way. Okay, so we have 20. We're going to grab and I'll do 10. And that should be good. I don't know why. Well, I know why because we got brain fog from my lupus, but I just... Couldn't figure that out. 35 is what we have left. I did get my car fixed. One repair. I still have another one for almost $400 I need to do. So now I'm juicing up for that. So I have 25 and I am adding 40. So I will end up with 20, 40, 65. Car tags always gets 10. Let's see what I got in here. Yep, I just have 70. So it's going to end up with 80. I'm not sure if I could swap anything out on that one. Home is getting 20. And I do have fives in here, so I'm going to put this back and get two 20s. So home now has 40. Vacation is getting 20. I think this puts it at 100, though. Let's see. Yep, it does put it at 100. So I'm actually just going to put these two back and grab a 50. 100 I'm just going to use for something else. I don't want to grab that. So you have 100 on vacation now. And that should be it for this binder. This is probably my favorite binder that I have. I, um, hold on, I need to move some of these so it will close right here. Sometimes you have to kind of time these out so it actually closes correctly. There we go. This is my favorite that I made so far. It's just worked out perfect. I didn't even realize how perfect I intentionally lined up the colors. It really came out pretty. So if we move over to the save binder, this is stuff that we're saving longer. Some people call their long-term. This is a lot of my long-term stuff goes in here. Okay, so we have $40 going into my snowball. This is actually for two different items, but I'm my loan I pay online on payday, and I also have an automatic payment every two weeks. So that snowball goes is digital and just goes direct to the loan. But I am paying off saving up for a couple other things that I want to pay off in here. They're nothing that's past due or going to cause me like legal problem, but stuff I want to take care of. So savings is getting fifty. So I have fifty one two four five six. So fifty hundred. Sorry, not fifty six. One hundred six dollars in savings back to back that kind of got depleted so I'm trying not to touch it now and we have my 1000 emergency fund I have a if you haven't seen a Yoda that I use for my thousand emergency fund I have 25 and I'm adding another 25 and I'm actually gonna swap my five not gonna swap anything I think because this one will be okay for a little while 20 40 5 50 this is for a local emergency fund. I may eventually deposit it, but it's just growing locally and then I'll handle it later. If you order on my website, you actually can do like this, how I did it kind of um, abstract, or you can do it perfectly aligned. You can just specify in your notes if that's something you're interested in. I'm gonna count this, but I'm not doing it with Thanksgiving. We have 
one, two, three, twenty on Thanksgiving, and that is fully funded. We're not adding any more to that until we shop and figure out what's going on. And then Santa is the one that has something special going on. So in Santa, I'm actually adding one. Do I want to put it? Yeah, one fifty. That's from me. And then my husband actually added fifty dollars as well. So it's actually getting two hundred. Sorry, I'm trying to grab some of it, not all of it. So we will now have one, two, three, fifty, four. That's all stuck together. Let's do it again. One, two, three, fifty, four, fifty, five, fifty, six, seventy, ninety, five, seven. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. 50. So we have 650 here. And we are actually sending 500 to our daughter. So we have a thousand that we have set aside for Christmas. Some of it has presents already bought, but we did set aside a thousand. And now we're sending 500 to Jelly. So I want to know what I've done for Christmas. I don't want to just, you know, leave it be. I feel like that's stuck, but it doesn't seem like it's coming apart. Okay. So now this one will have 1500 with a $500 placeholder in it. And I'm going to pull out. That's 50. 150. 250. 3. 4. 5. So 500 back out to go to the bank. And that leaves 150 currently in my cash. So we've saved over 1500 actually, you're not even including this. I wasn't tracking it all the way, but so far for Christmas, before presents running, really, we've spent 1500 we save 1500 so that's santa holiday is getting a five i'm gonna switch this out put this back and that should equal 15. this is for like those labor day moral day st patty's day anything we want to do for a holiday that's not already specified gifts is getting 25. okay that was me breaking things i had three 50s in here and i'm adding 25. so i don't even know what i was doing there my brain was just jumping to the next cash stuffing, I guess. So we have 50, 1, 50, 75. So 175 in gifts. Planner is getting a 5. So we'll have 25 in planning. And that's probably going to go to my special order. Can't wait to post that into the mail. I'm gonna put down here. It's so pretty. So that is it for my savings binder. Next is my savings challenges. Some of which are moving along and some aren't. If you're new to my channel, every single time a combination of my savings challenges hit a thousand dollars, I do pay on my loan. Previously it was paying on my car. Now that I have my debt consolidation where I'm going, I'm trying to have it paid off by March 31st. So 52 week challenge already has had a thousand done. And we have two numbers, 18 and 49, which equals 67. So 20, 40, actually, you know what? I'm going to put these in here because it's all going to the bank, whatever's not done here. And I want to be able to do it with the right bills. So we have 67. So we have 50. 65, 66, 67, and actually, I'm gonna throw those right back in the two dollar bill. Okay, in our 52 week challenge, we now have 51, 10, 20, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I'm gonna take those two tens, I'm gonna put those back and grab a 20. So we have 131 in our 52 week challenge. 1K challenge. Again, we have a 1K slip. This one is getting 58. Two numbers were 41 and 17. So 50, 5, 57, 58. So 
So in our 1K challenge, we have 50, 70, 95, 97, 98, 99, 100. So that was easy. So that's our 1K challenge. Grocery budget's always $40 every single paycheck. It's $20 a week. I get paid every two weeks. So I recently had a 1K slip. So we're going to grab two 20s. So I have two 20s, so I have $80. And since I can shrink that a little bit, I'm going to go 50, 70, 80, and I'm going to put these 20s back. So we still have $80 just in bigger bills. Save Appley is $60 and it is 40 and 20, so you always just combine these. 50, 70, 80, 90, 60. This one should be pretty easy. 51, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, this is an extra envelope. In our singles, if we pull back over from what we had earlier, we had three singles that I'm throwing in my singles challenge. And then fives, we have three fives going in there. These do go into my loan if I need to. If not, I leave them. Okay, so that is our five. So for other, oh, this is a little bit different today. So the next one, I have a new challenge I'm starting today, and it is actually from Erin Tribble, Tribbles, Erin Twibbles around aimlessly, and she actually owns Budget by the Beach. She started a self-care one, and I wanted to do it. It's also, if you purchase it, it's 100% of the proceeds actually go to um, the liver disease awareness. So what the point is, is to do something every day in October, and then mark down if you did it week one, week two, week three. So I'm going to color these later, but I want to mark them. So I did that one. Um, I definitely meditated. Actually, both weeks I meditated a lot. I had friends. Ooh, I did that. He did that to me. My husband gave me a massage when I was having a problem. Let's see. Some of these I'm not sure what they actually stand for. So I'm just using what I would think they would stand for. And So let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely let's leave it like that's six. I relax. That's seven. So that's week one. And I'm actually gonna be pulling these out of my house cash because I do have a lot in there right now. And I um, am paying myself for this to use for self-care later. So I'm okay with that. So that's one week is gonna be ten dollars. So I'm pulling out two fives, but this was two weeks now. We're in our second week of October. So what else can I do? I definitely have that. I've been working on some plants in my house. That's two, three, four, five, six. And actually, I'm going to use this one right here. I didn't actually go to a mountain, but I did waves for my meditation, so I'm going to use that for that. So that's seven. I'll come back and color these in later. I still want to do it while I'm on the actual video. And then that is for week one and week two. So again, I will fill those in later. I have not created the envelope yet. Obviously with everything going on, I've been a little behind, but there is a cute envelope that comes with it. And you can do this any month. She's doing it in October because it's liver disease awareness month, but you can do it in any month. So I do need to pull another 10. And actually I'm just gonna grab a 20 and put these fives back. I like having small change in my house cash. Makes it more convenient. So for the liver awareness, um, self-care challenge for October. I'm putting 20 in my other envelope. I'll have that envelope made by the time we have our next thing. So there's that. And then in my business is getting 25. I think I did everything. I don't think I'm missing anything. So let me just see how much we have here. So we have 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 4. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So this is 500. This is the money going back for the holidays or the Christmas. But I have 20 still here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 10. So I actually have $30 that's here that I don't have account for. Hmm. I wonder if I pulled too much out of the bank. Again, I had a little snafu at the bank and it got kind of crazy. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to save. This is going to the bank. This is that $500. And actually, I'm going to pull back my savings challenges really quick. I keep in the back here, I keep my Yoda bills. I'm actually going to throw my $500 slips in there too, so I have them when I need them. Okay, so that can go. That's done. In my savings binder, I'm actually going to bring, so it's not 106, I'm going to bring my savings up to 110. So, I want to grab that $2 bill. So that's 108, 19, 110. So this should equal 110 when I'm done. 50, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Whoops, I did that wrong. 51, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, so that's 110 now. I hope I was going to the right envelope. Jeez, the struggle is real today. Okay, and then let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that twenty. Do I want to put that? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw that right into Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is we're done stuffing it. But now I can relax and not think maybe I'll be wrong because that would actually finish it. So in Thanksgiving we would have. 1, 2, 3, 25, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 350, 351. And just for even sake, I'm going to take that one out and put it in my challenge. So it's 350 in Thanksgiving. That one is done. I'll throw that in my single challenge, and then we are done. That is my cash stuffing for the first payday of September. September? No. First payday of October. If you like cash stuffings, if you like debt right updates if you like things like that the budgeting i hope that you will like share subscribe make sure you ring that bell for notifications i do typically have a lot more energy in my videos but right now i am still in recovery mode hopefully in the next couple of days my energy levels will start to pick up again don't forget anything available in this video is available in my shop and i hope wherever you guys are whatever you're doing you're having a great day and i hope your budgets are going good have a great one guys